आज हमारे रडार पर फार्मा सेक्टर की दिग्गज कंपनी सुविन फार्मा है नतीजों पर तो बात करेंगे और ऑफ कोर्स आगे का आउटलुक जानेंगे क्विकली मैं बता दूं नतीजे कैसे रहे पिछले क्वार्टर के मार्च तिमाही में कंपनी का मुनाफा 10 परसेंट बढ़कर 92 टू करोड़ और आय में 40 परसेंट की बढ़त देखी गई तीन करोड़ रुपए रही वहीं मार्जिन में अच्छी बढ़ोतरी भी आई है नतीजों को कहाँ से मिला सपोर्ट और आगे किस तरीके का आउटलुक है ये जानने के लिए चलते हैं कंपनी के एम डी जस्ती हमारे साथ शो में जुड़े हैं मिस्टर जस्ती गुड आफ्टरनून बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया हमें समय देने के लिए सर सबसे पहले आपसे नंबर्स पर आपकी प्रतिक्रिया चाहूंगी रेवेन्यू बढ़िया है सर 40 परसेंट का ग्रोथ है ईयर ऑन ईयर किस वजह से खास uh, uh, अच्छा परफॉर्मेंस दिखा ऑन द रेवेन्यू फ्रंट सर और आउटलुक क्या है अब सीडीएमओ फार्मा सेगमेंट में Uh, even with the increase in the prices and the problems with the uh, logistics and the shortages of material we could deliver and we could perform uh, thank god uh, uh, for the support given by the customers and uh, the all our suppliers uh, we in this cdmo business especially for suven it is mainly for the innovative molecules that means we work with the innovators during their clinical phase of the drug development and maybe at phase 1 or phase 2 or phase 3 whenever the product moves into the next stage then you get the fresh orders otherwise there is no orders so we cannot tell guarantee like any generic business how it will perform the whole year because the uh, visibility for us is only 6 months because it's a clinical trial outcome will give you the uh the new business opportunity so based on that we usually give 10 to 15% growth on year on year but last year we have done a very good growth as i said the traction is very good in all sectors so we could do it very well so for the year 2022 23 we are saying about 10 to 15% growth is what uh, we are estimating not knowing fully the visibility for the whole year okay so 6 mahine tak ki visibility hai jaisa aap keh rahe hain it's tough to uh, kind of uh... आगे एक साल तक की विजिबिलिटी देना थोड़ा अनुमान लगाना मुश्किल है बट सर आपसे मैं जानना चाहूँगी मार्जिन और ये ज़बरदस्त प्रदर्शन है यहाँ पर 43 परसेंट की जो आपने मार्जिन डिलीवर किया है पहली बात तो सर कैसे हुआ ये और क्या ये सस्टेनेबल है क्योंकि बाकी पीयर्स अगर हम देखें तो वो इतना मार्जिन नहीं मेनटेन कर पा रहे हैं और प्रेशर्स भी बहुत पड़ रहे हैं इन्फ्लेशनरी तो आपने कैसे फोर्टी तक का मार्जिन यहाँ पर लाए हैं और आगे क्या आउटलुक होगा See, yeah, all, uh, we have been quoting that uh, plus 40 percent is possible for us to deliver year on year, but uh, sometimes it can go up to 43, 44, 45, depending on the product mix, uh, the stage at which the value-added product comes in. Uh, suddenly, a uh, movement into the next stage that gives you the uh, value addition and also the throughput uh, advantages and all that stuff. So it's not a guaranteed thing, but uh, on, all in all, we were uh, thinking around plus 40 percent EBITDA margin. So what we are going to maintain for the uh, next one or two years, because visibility again is uh, very less and. Uh, uh, and this business is always on the success of the molecule at the clinical trial so it's uh, lots of ifs and but but uh, if you see last 5 7 years i think we are doing uh, much better than what we are forecasting uh, i hope that same thing will continue okay to aap keh rahe hain continue kar payenge margin 40% plus to ye rahenge aur is baar jaise 43% ka जो मार्जिन आया है वो आप कह रहे हैं आगे भी उम्मीद कर रहे हैं कि वो लेवल्स आएंगे सर अदर इनकम यहाँ पर नज़र आपकी डालना चाहूँगी काफ़ी ज़बरदस्त वहाँ उछाल है थ्री करोड़ से ऑलमोस्ट वन थर्टी फोर करोड़ का अदर इनकम है सर एग्जैक्ट कंपोनेंट यहाँ पर क्या है Here it is all the dividend from our US uh, subsidiary, uh, which we sold out uh, to one of the companies, and the money that was returned came, came back as a dividend, which is that's why you see this is a one-off. It is not going to be a repeat business, but it's a one-off. So that's why you see that uh, huge number. ये वन ऑफ है आगे सर बट जैसे आप कह रहे हैं कुछ बिजनेसेस जो आप नॉन कोर एसेट्स एंड मोनेटाइजेशन जो चालू है प्रक्रिया चालू है कंपनी की वहाँ पर और कितना एक्सपेक्टेशन है टू क्लीन अप द बुक्स एंड आर देर मोर एसेट्स जो आपके रडार पर हैं जिनको आप मोनेटाइज कर सकते हैं 
No, no, nothing else is there. Is only one, and that we have taken care of. And we have a residual share of seven percent in a U.S. company where we are a partner and also a supplier to them on the A and D business. So we don't have any other assets to be monetized. Outlook says, "Janna chahunge aapse high margin commercial cramps and specialty chemicals." In dono businesses par kis tarikhe ka uh, outlook hai company ka kis tarikhe ki growth anticipate kar rahe hai sir? In the specialty chemicals, uh, it's uh, a matured business. It's a regular business, and it's about uh, maybe five to ten percent growth can happen. But in terms of the CDMO, as I said, it is all depending on the success of the molecule at the clinical trials, and whatever the growth we expect in the CDMO business only, and where it is the high margins and high EBITDA. Okay, sir, uh, quantify कर पाएंगे हम हमारे लिए? As I said, it's ten to fifteen percent only. Uh, I mean, it will be twenty percent to twenty-five percent uh, on overall uh, on the CDMO itself, but on overall, it will be ten to fifteen percent. Okay, sure, sir. Sir, geography-wise, you are where you are bullish. What do you think? Which markets are actually going to perform well in this year? And your focus will also increase. Why? Most of the customers are from uh, USA, but uh, the shipments goes to U- Europe mainly. So, seventy to seventy-five percent of the shipment goes to Europe. But the customers are from USA, and the rest of them is for Japan and other small things, which is about ten percent. Mm-hmm. Okay. आपका एक recent acquisition sir, Casper uh, Pharma, जो one fifty five crores में आपने acquire किया, उसके बारे में sir बताइए किस तरीके का synergy देखते हैं, किस तरीके का यहाँ पर उसका contribution होगा on the top line, कब से हम देखना शुरू करेंगे? So it is a brand new plant yet uh, to be uh, commercialized. Waiting for the US FDA inspection can happen within the next three to four months. And uh, this was uh, the is asset of the uh, our old company, uh, US company that is rising for my holdings. And uh, they said that it's better you take over and run this place because we have a eight year agreement with them to do all their products, manufacture and supply at a cost plus and uh, profit share basis. That's why we have taken. I think uh, by August we should have the uh, time frame, August September time frame. We should have the uh, FDA uh, inspection should take place. Based on that, uh, we'll be. So, I mean, we have two products already uh, ready for the shipments, and uh, another fifteen products uh, NDAs will be filed during the fiscal twenty twenty three. Jasti, but how much contribution will come from this on your top line? Uh, it will be about ten to fifteen percent only to start with, because uh, it is a cost plus plus uh, profit share only. So the volume wise is not there, but the value wise is much more attractive. Okay, value wise, here is more. So acquisition, को लेकर सर क्या strategy रहेगी? FI twenty three में भी कुछ है spaces gaps जहाँ आपको लगता है अच्छे acquisitions आप देख सकते हैं. इस वक्त company के पास cash क्या कितना है सर? And अगर हम बात करें working capital requirements, will they be met, sir? So we are a, a, a zero debt company. Uh, we have about clo- uh, close to 450 crores cash on hand, and we have about uh, 600 crores of. I mean, every quarter we'll be getting about 100 crores or so, and uh, we'll be in the, in the next 36 months or 30 months we'll be spending uh, about 600 crores on the capex for the upgradation of the existing facility, which is a very old one, and also uh, uh, relocation of the. R&D center because we are in the middle of the city and uh, Hyderabad has a, a note saying that we have to move out of the middle of the city to outside the ring road. That will happen. Another one is uh, going to be a Pasha Mailaram USFT plant where we need to put one more block. It will cost about 150 crores. So all this will be from the internal accruals only, and we don't need any money from outside. Mm-hmm. Okay. And acquisitions, co lekar sir, kya strategy hai? As of now, there is no because it has to be see value added products and the long term commitments has to be there. Otherwise, it doesn't for me to get into things because you know our EBITDA margins are completely different. If I go to something else, my value will not be there, and the only top line growth will happen, not the bottom. That's not what we look. Hmm. Sir, is what your order book is showing? And what kind of business prospects or is there any addition? आप देख रहे हैं इन टर्म्स ऑफ क्लाइंट्स नो आई हैव एन वन क्लाइंट हु हैज कम आई मीन दैट्स सी सिंस वी आर इन दिस बिजनेस वी आर द फर्स्ट वन टू स्टार्ट द सीडीएम ऑन अ क्रैम्स बिजनेस वे बैक इन 1995 वी हैव मोर देन 25 मेजर फार्मास्यूटिकल कंपनीज वेरी रेयरली वी गेट इनटू दिस स्मॉल कंपनीज बिकॉज़ दे डोंट हैव द रीच टू कम टू इंडिया ओनली द बिग फार्मा कैन कम सो एडिशनल द नंबर ऑफ कस्टमर्स इज यूजुअली वन आर टू पर ईयर 
not more than that. But as I said, visibility is only six months. The run rate is, as of now, is around 5% this year, that way, like last year, right now. But uh, I can't tell you for the whole year. But uh, as I said, we are giving a, a, a guidance of 10 to 15% growth overall, uh, based on the previous experience and uh, the attraction of the molecules. But anything can happen. Sometimes you may get 5 to 10% less, but sometimes you get 30 to 40 percent growth. Suddenly, one or two molecules moves into the next stage and even after the launching pad. So that can happen. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, definitely, wo factor in karni hi hai. Sir, I see you 90% of your revenue uh, regulated market se aata hai, US, Europe. Now, because of the political tensions in Ukraine-Russia war, ke se kuch impact on your business and further, because there is a little volatility, hai, inflation concerns, hai, rupee has hit an all-time low, etc. Uh, kya sentiment wise kuch changes hai, uske se business can have an impact on business? Yes, uh, it will impact the business because if we are sourcing some other raw materials from Europe, uh, we are not getting it. We are sourcing some raw materials from China. They will have problems on the logistics. Of course, as you know, the price has also gone up and the diesel prices have gone up. Uh, logistics is still a little bit problem that is uh, eating other way. And another, um, another problem we have is these are one-off projects because it's a phase one goes to phase two, then only you get the order. So once you get an order, you cannot pass on the, uh, you place an, they place an order. I cannot pass on the, increased cost because the raw materials has gone up because they are not in regular right time. So this is the challenge we are facing. Uh, and uh, added to that, uh, states like Andhra Pradesh, where we have a problem with the electricity, we are only supposed to consume 50% of it, and that is costing us a lot of money. And uh, all the general increases, uh, but even with that, we are able to manage plus for 40% uh, EBITDA margins, and we hope to continue the same way for the next one or two years. Okay, so sir, how do you de risk your inflationary pressures? Hai. Obviously, ye, uh, uh, you know, asar karte hai business. Par. So, what are you keeping in the clauses aap rakh rahe hai, you can pass on that cost uh, even if it comes in the mid, uh, middle? Because, you know, ye, ye across sectors, we are seeing the problems. Yes, yes, yes. But in our case, what happens is purchase order to purchase order. There is no contract because they cannot give a contract because they themselves don't know whether this molecule may, will be successful in the clinical trial. What happens is if I supply uh, a particular drug, uh, I'm mean, intermediate at this time, I say $100 uh, per kilo, and next time when they place an order, by the time my raw material prices has gone up, I will include that prices in the new order. So that is uh, taken care of. But when once they place their order, uh, I don't have a chance to pass on the customer. Hmm. Okay, sure, sir. Uh, sir, cash deployment ki apne baat ki, jo 450 crores hai aapke paas is waqt. Thoda sa, sir, ek bar batayenge exactly kaha utilization hoga. Aapne kaha, aap expansion karenge aur apni current facilities ko upgrade karenge. Can you give us the breakup, sir? I mean, as I said, 600 crores will go to the, in a three years time for the uh, capex. Okay, whatever the cash approval, so as you know, we've been giving uh, very good dividends. Uh, last year, we have given about five dollars, five rupees. Uh, similarly, we will uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, reward the shareholders and at the same time, if there are opportunity comes which meets our requirement, then we may be utilizing those monies. So, we have not thought of anything like that, but uh, this is what the uh, plan is all about. So, this is a good growth, as you are telling us, that top line and bottom line growth uh, uh, targets and margins are 40% plus here. Uh, the demand scenario is strong. Sir, quickly, concern if uh, the company is the biggest concern for the external, what is the growth projections that can hamper the Oh, there are three things. One is the inherent uh, the business model itself. It is the clinical trial, the failure of the clinical trial, not movement from one phase to the other. That's the main inherent, right? Then things like Ukraine suddenly popping up and uh, stopping uh, the raw material supplies and the logistic problems and the increase in the cost of the uh, services and all that stuff. So these are the two things can happen. Other than that, I don't see anything. Of course, certain thing is, I mean, uh, if you get uh, cyclones or something like that, uh, that which we cannot predict, which okay. is not to you. Okay, of course. Uh, all right, sir. Mr. Jasti, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us. Uh, इस क्वार्टर में और आगे क्या है आउटलुक कंपनी का तो ये थे सुमन फार्मा के टॉप मैनेजमेंट हमसे बातचीत करते हुए